Hello, everyone. A very warm welcome to all of you out there. Thank you very much for joining in. I can understand the heartbeats are faster. I can understand the palpitations are there. Warm welcome from the entire team of RFA Tears. Thank you so much. Warm welcome from Chin, Tehmina, your moderators, coordinators, and the backend team as well. Thank you so much. I hope my voice is audible and clear to all of you out there. Hi, the voice is clear. Yes, Dr. Thank Sita. You. Hi, well, how are you? Thank you, Rafa. It was lovely meeting you all yesterday. And thank you so much for all those who have been in the remote workshop and all those who have been on the on-site as well. Thank you very much. All right. So just wanted to take your precious uh, five to seven minutes before we are all set for the exam. Just wanted to tell you guys that you're all ready for it. You all have done hard work. Few of you were so busy in the hospitals. Few of you uh, wanted to do more. But at the end of the day, the examiners, they don't know. They don't know who has studied for like one year, who has studied for six months, who has just prepared maybe in one week's time. The smart you are in your presentation, you would just go straight to the scorecard. And this is what we want. This is the reason that we are here to talk to you today, to tell you guys that it's all that how organized you are in your speech, how confident you are in your attire, and how you take your good points and how you cover up your weaknesses as well. Do you guys understand this point? I have been putting an emphasis on this in the last minute talks and the last minute workshops as well. I have been making you guys organize. The reason is that no matter you've got like 100, 150 points in your mind, at the end of the day, the way you take it forward, the way you are organized in your flow, that's the only thing which matters. And that actually gives the last impression. Starting from your entry till your end, they are looking at that you're better than the, in the circuit than others. And this is what you have to work for. Tomorrow, when you start the station, you have to tell yourself that I'm the best. Today, you have to sleep for at least eight hours, please. No matter, you have lots of, lots of thoughts in your mind. No matter, you've got lots of things that are disturbing you. Sleep is important, please. Because even if something we've discussed in MRCPI written part, that would come up in your mind today. And it does happen. Something older would be in your mind. Something which was like not recently studied, that would get linked up. And this is what we want, that when we are there, we do the perfect applied clinical knowledge. It's not about what you've read only. It's about how you present, how you take forward the station. In the long case, please manage that case head to toe. Try to be organized in your presentation. Do all the tips, as I've mentioned in the long case. Do everything which I've made you understand that you have to speak this. Do not forget sanitization, standing on the right side of the patient, making your hands warm, doing all those steps and speech part is essential because it's all about speaking. You don't have an actual patient. Please don't forget and be very clear that the positive findings, put it on the right box as I've mentioned to you guys so that you know that this is going to be earlier and you don't put it after the negative things. Yeah. Do you guys understand this point? No matter you get an obstetric case, no matter you get a uh, gynae case, if you are smooth in your flow, if you are positive in your attire, if you are a confident doctor, they would definitely pass you. I again emphasize on one point that when you start your case, Bushra, when you start your circuit, when you start your long case, Vidhi, Sarvat, Manha, Dunya, they are starting you from 10, not 10. Do not force the examiner to bring it to 9, 8, 7, 6. You all start with hello on passing, and you have to keep the track flowing towards passing my dear Seema. Do you guys understand? Give, that, give, give the best shot of yours and have this faith in mind that we are already passing. I mean, when we are starting, we are passing. Again, it's not like other exams where the saturation is so much and you tend to have a difficulty. Everybody manages to pass. If at all, you people just follow the gist which I had been emphasizing on you guys and you just have to compare it with each other. But in circuit, it's a competitive one. If it's a new one, if something is different, something is new, that's new for everyone. That's different for everyone. 
that's maybe difficult. If some question is difficult, that's difficult for everyone. You don't have to worry. That would not decide your passing and failing. So on the, on the account of a difficult station, do not let the easy ones, do not make very basic mistakes on account of one difficult part. Do you guys understand? If something is difficult, it is difficult for everyone. So the, the, the scorecard would also stay the same. Everybody is, has a potential to make mistakes on that station. But when something is easy and straightforward and you make it wrong on account of nervousness, that's not acceptable. And I do not accept or expect any of the RFA students to do that, please. In the morning, please take a very good breakfast. Take something for the middle time as well. As I always say that here, there can be exhaustion and this exhaustion troubles you in between the time period, waiting time period. I mean, circuit itself is very small. Long station itself, it's a smaller exam. It's not that, you know, it tests your stamina, but at times three hours can be waiting. That can be bothering for you guys. So in that, please uh, take some sandwiches, take some juices, eat something, drink something, get fresh when you know that this is the time when you have been told to come back to the uh, meeting point. So attend your toilet earlier so that you're all fresh. You all are going to have your long cases in the morning when you are talking about the UAE. If, even if it's circuit, the gap in between, you should not get tired in that gap. And please do not talk much in those gaps. I know many of you would be meeting each other and uh, especially after the workshops, you people, I know you are strong friends, but reserve and conserve your energies, please. Reason for that is the, the actual time, you should not be tired. If you talk too much, if you have lots of brainstorming, the final time of the performance, you should give your best rather than at that time, you have a, a foggy memory or for that matter, you're fumbling because you're tired. Do you guys understand? Yes, after the exam, you are allowed. Hug each other, play with each other, eat with each other. That's not a problem. Chit chat, everything but cool down, calm, and conserve your energies prior to the exam. Circuit is very important and equally important as the long case. So if your circuit goes fine, do not say, oh yes, I'm past now. It's okay, I'll take my long case easy. You have to pass both of them separately. And all of you, please, Aisha, Bushabit, Kavitha, my dear, you have to understand this thing that it's not shiny that the circuit people, they know that, oh, she's a passing one, they'll, they'll compensate in the long case. It would not happen. And even in the long case, it would not happen that if you have passed the long case, they're going to compensate in your short cases. All right? So you have to pass the short cases and the long case, the circuit and the long case separately. Do you guys understand this point? So do not get underconfident if it doesn't go 100% well. And do not get overconfident if the first part, part goes, you know, very well. Because the second part is equally important. Adam, do you understand? Kandil, do you understand? Rania, Saira, Sarwat, Seema, Shaima, my dear. Yes, Shiny, Vala, Zoya, sweetie. You all have to understand this thing. You're so many appearing in this exam. It is basically that your performance matters at that time. Do not get overconfident with the first part and do not get underconfident. Both parts are equally important. And if one station in the circuit goes back, or if you think you could have done better, it's absolutely okay. Because it's an overall circuit performance. One station doesn't matter. But leave the station there and then when you move to the next. Because next is a different examiner. He doesn't know what you did in the previous one. But if you start shaking your head, if you start fumbling and telling him, oh my God, I had a previous one, bad one, then you're forcing him to fail you. Don't do that, please. Okay? So there's certain things which you people have to have a very clear mindset before approaching. We do not expect the Irish examiners in UAE. At times, it doesn't happen. So please don't worry. Maybe the local role players are there. Maybe the cubicles are very closer. That the voice is, you know, the side cubicle. You can listen to their voice. So please don't worry on these things. You should be prepared on this. It's happening with everyone. Nothing is different, isolated with you. So no complaints at that time. Because whatever it is, it is with everyone. And you have to come out of that strongly. Students, they start saying last time in the Latifa hospital, they start complaining. 
uh, that we we cannot concentrate. It is like I can listen to her voice. I can listen to the previous student's voice or the next one's voice. See, whatever they have decided, they're going to do it that way. Don't waste your time. Concentrate on your examiner and focus on what you are saying rather than the background noises. I mean that at that moment, nothing would change. Come out strongly and accept and be flexible. Like I told you guys that the long case examiner, if it's a little different, you have to be organized. If he's doing a prompt, summarize your case, summarize your case. If you do not, do not have a prompt, go to the examination. After examination, you get a prompt that please summarize your history and examination. Summarize the way I have told you. Now all the lines are with you guys. After the workshop, you should be so confident. I've given you the words which you have to speak. Just fill in your data into that and come up with the best of the speech and the confidence so that you stand out in your circuit. All right. I expect all of you to be super confident and everything will be fine. Having palpitations, having a little anxiety and stress, that's, that's understandable. Have a good control. This should be a positive one. That should make you read the question very carefully. Labor ward prioritization, do all the patient safety. Long cases, you all know the best. Breaking bad news, you're awesome in that. So. Just have faith in yourself. Your performance should really be uh, outstanding. That only happens when you tell yourself that, yes, I'm the best. And I know how good you guys are in your communication, how good you guys are in your applied clinical knowledge. Even if something comes up and down, like becomes up and down in the applied clinical knowledge, please don't worry about this because you can cover it up by getting connected to the consultant, uh, you know, having an next appointment with the details. So be wise and have a presence of mind in your exam. Yes? All right, Tehmina, your students are here. It's been a long journey moderating them, my dearest. What would be your last minute advice to them, please? And a very, very best of luck from Chen as well. He's traveling today back in Malaysia to Ireland and lots of travels are going with the family. So he wanted to say lots and lots of best of luck to you guys as well. All right, Tehmina, what would you like to say to your students? Tehmina, are you there? Hello. Hi. Hello, can you everyone. Yeah. Hi. Good, okay. good evening, everyone. What are the last minute suggestions, Tamina? Yeah, last minute. I think you already very nicely uh, mentioned everything. And uh, good luck. I can give only wishes. Good luck for all of you. Do you have any other? Query, you can ask me because I think okay. uh, any concerns you mentioned you guys. Good thing. Absolutely. So, anything which you have, any last moment question? A few of the students, they were not in the workshop. If they have any question, please let us know. If anything is still disturbing you guys, you feel you feel that this is the last minute query we are having. So, please let me know. Amani, Aisha, Bushra, you people have to devise all those topics which I told you guys yesterday. Uh, hopefully nothing would be out of that. And that will be just covering up everything that's that's required for you guys. Please take care of your diet and ensure that you stay in touch. If anybody has any difficulty, we are right here to address that. Just need your inner confidence today. Have a good sleep and have a good calm attire and exam. I hope the dresses are ready. They're all ironed. Yes, you don't need to take anything with you guys. I told you guys yesterday as well. You just need to have a good, a decent attire. For girls, it's always better that you tie your hair so that they don't disturb you. The ones who wear the headscarf, wear them beautifully so they're well adjusted. It's not that, you know, in every circuit you're adjusting it. All right. So these are some tiny things. When you're doing an examination, you can just pull up your sleeves and make sure that it doesn't touch the patient. So these are certain steps they're looking at. Yeah. So, of course, no jewelry, no rings, and uh, ensure that all the girls, all the boys, they've got well trimmed nails. These are tiny things which make an effect on your performance and your overall attire. Yeah. Do we have any questions? How is the heartbeat? Aisha? Is it 72, Muhammad, or is it 82? Kavita, or is it 102? <laughs> okay, well, how are you guys feeling? I shall say it's 100, ma'am. Seema says I'm sick. I am collapsed, ma'am. I am collapsed. Oh, Muhammad, why? <laughs> oh, no, no collapse, boy. You're so small. Everything will be fine. 
Yeah. Yes, I hope. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yes. Inshallah, everything will be fine. Exam is an exam. I understand, but it's never the end of life. Yeah. So Shaima, Shaima is saying, I won't forget Mubada. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody will forget. I'm sure. Nobody would forget Muhammad doing the breaking bad news and in carefully with Shaima, yeah? Okay, we loved you yesterday and we really, really enjoyed every bit of it because that was a wonderful um, learning experience. If you find that type of a role player, but uh, be like Vidhi, the way she settled, and Shaima, don't get overwhelmed, yeah? And Amani, stay confident, my dear. Nobody is going to go to the exam with this mindset that let's give it a try. They don't know your preparation, I always say. You have been practicing. Just speak confidently. Don't fumble. If any mistake happens while speaking, you should know the art of, um, of just covering it up. Yeah? So don't highlight it. Let it go with the flow. All right? Please do sleep in time and do have a very good dinner and you should have a very good breakfast. Any concern, anything is there, please don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. And I wish you all the very best. Just go with confidence and tell yourself it's another day of speaking with patience only. If you will feel it this way, Sarvet, you would not have a problem. If you feel it this way, Aisha, Bushra, Mohammed, Shizra, no need lab coat, my dear Shizra. It's always fine. Generally, you'll find uh, with, with the blazer. Or you can wait because I know that in UAE, it's not very cold, but inside it's comfortable in the cubicles and inside the hospital. So you just have to wear straight pants. You can wear straight trousers and the blazer. Okay, so whatever options you have, just drop in a message and send me. I'll, I'll tell you that what's easy. It should be comfortable. I mean, the sleeves should not be tight. The trousers should be easy from uh, thighs. And, you know, it, it shouldn't be very tight so that you keep on sitting, you keep on standing, you keep on sitting, you keep on standing. You should not be, something should not be disturbing you. You should be comfortable, Sahar. Okay? And uh, even um, in, uh, you you see few of the students, even in, um, uh, the long coats or even the the gowns as well. So it depends, you know, but generally it's always better to have a semi-formal attire like that of a coat and a plain shirt. Don't make it very bright colors. Yes, anything is needed, any administrative help, anything, please drop in a message and we'll be here to guide you. It's just about another day of speaking. Go with full confidence, Vala, my sweetheart. You all are very, very well prepared. And again, I would say I'll do a morning voice note to you guys, but you have to hear, you have to listen to this and go with full confidence. Have faith in yourself, have faith in Almighty. It's been long, you guys have been taking exams. It's another day. Do not get, yeah, it's okay. Adam, absolutely okay. All those last time also. All the males, they, they wore full suit, right? So a pant and a shirt. Adam, which you wore for the Epcot, that was fine as well. Your European board dress. Adam, that was that was fine. If you wear that one, if you're comfortable in that one, you can wear that one as well. Okay? Shaima, for us, for doctors, I all life is exam. No problem. We enjoy this. Start enjoying this journey, my dearest. Okay? All right? I want a thumbs up from everyone with faith in yourself, with confidence in yourself, telling yourself that I'm the best in the circuit, I would do it. I would come up with flying colors. The almighty is with me. We have been working hard. We are best prepared. We won't be blank in anything. We will manage to speak something. Just take yourself through those 10 minutes. If you take yourself through those 10 minutes and don't be silent, they are forced to give you some sort of marks in that. But if you're silent, you're not speaking anything, then you are forced because you're not helping them to pass you. Just go through that drill, guys, and just have calm approach. Everybody's there. They are nervous because of exam. If you will stand out, Kandil, having good control over your heartbeat, you guys would see that things would be easier for you guys and you'll stand out in those eight circuit because one after the other, examiners are observing. All right, be confident when you enter into the long case, take it slowly, do take care of the communication, take care of the time management as I've told you guys, Manha, you people will turn out to be the best. Again, I'm saying you're very well prepared. It's just like you perform the same way, the way you are prepared. Everything will be fine. We will celebrate soon. 
All right. So best of luck from the entire team of RFA tutors. You guys are amazing. You guys are the best. Just have faith in yourself. Go as warriors. Fight for each station. Fight in the long case till the end. Give a very good impression. Your patient should be happy from you. Your examiner should know that, yes, this is the best candidate. And you would see, you'll come out with flying colors. The exam results are always reassuring when it comes to MRCPIM. Thank you so much. Love you all. Thank you very much, Tamina, for joining in. Best of luck from Chin side as well, from all the moderators, coordinators, and the backend team. We love you all. Thank you so much. You would see that everything would be fine. Just stay confident. Thank you, Aisha, Bushra, Kavita, Manha, Dunia, Joshel. Thank you so much. Do your best, my boy. Muhammad. Adam, Nagina, Kandil, Rafia, thank you so much. Seher, you will do it. Saira, you have to do it for me. Seema, Shaima, my dear. Stay confident, Shaima. You will find a solution to everything if you just have a presence of mind, sweetheart. Shizra, you're already awesome. Sidra Hamad, you're already very well prepared. Tehmina, my dear, you're doing great. You've already done MRCOG3. You would see nothing would be different with he. You are super prepared, my dear Vala. You all would do great, Zoya. Just have confidence in yourself, okay? Love you all. Take very good care of yourself. We would be praying for all those three to six hours until and unless we get some messages from you guys. The heart, the mind, everything is going to be with you guys only. And um, I hope the blessings be with you guys. May that day be yours. May the words would be so powerful that they go straight to the examiner's heart. Best of luck from the entire team of RFA theaters. See you guys soon with these success stories. Thank you. Bye-bye from my side. Take good care. Anything still disturbing you till night, in the morning, do not hesitate to contact. Muhammad, you want to say something? <laughs> is it a hand raising or is it bye-bye? <laughs> Thank you no, so no, much, This is bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless everyone. You all will be successful. Have faith and go as warriors. Enjoy the pattern of the exam. Have a presence of mind. Follow the pattern, as I told you, pre-operative, operation, post-operative, labor board prioritization. Follow the gist of it. Anything which is in the pregnancy, antenatal, interpartum, postpartum, follow the outline and you will go through that very smoothly. Love you all. Take very good care. See you guys soon. Thank you so much. And all those who are not here in the live session, the recording would be uploaded. This last minute booster is just to boost your morale and you all would come out successful. Thank you very much. Take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye from RFA Tutors. Thank you so much. <laughs>